fantastic. So today, I'm doing another food And it's gonna be a really fun one, y'all. Taco Bell versus a sit-down Mexican, more pricey restaurant, AKA Salsa Fiesta Grill. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm waiting for the meme comments. They do salsas, they do fiestas. I don't know if they do quinceañeras. Speaking of which, I'm half Cuban and I never got a quinceañera. Where's my quinceañera? I wanna wear a big red tomato dress, y'all. Play the food battle intro. Food In case if y'all have never seen a food battle before, basically, I taste test very similar items from very similar restaurants. Each item has its own round. For example, a taco versus a taco. Whoever wins that round gets a point, and the restaurant with the most points by the end of the video wins the food battle! Now, I have compared Taco Bell to Chipotle before. I forget who won. It was like a year ago. But I just thought it would be so interesting to see like, you know, like the cheapest Mexican food possible compared to a sit down pricier restaurant. It just sounds like a good idea to me. And y'all might be thinking, of course Taco Bell is gonna lose because they have cheap food and they have expensive food, blah, blah, blah. No, girl. It's a pretty fair comparison because Taco Bell is one of my favorite foods ever. So anyone going up against Taco Bell and my trashy taste buds, they have a mountain to climb y'all. Anyways, there are 10 rounds in this video, so that means I got 10 items from each restaurant. So let me read all the rounds to y'all right now, okay? We have a chips and salsa round, taco salad, chicken quesadilla, beef taco, chicken taco, nachos, dessert, burritos, chips and guacamole, and a wild card round. And in the wild card round, I basically take two completely different items and compare them. So I'm ready for this fiesta. I'm ready for this salsa. If only we had a keys and yeah. Let's take a look at all the food, but before we do, <laughs> hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato, and I'm on Cameo, so if you wanna get a selfie style video from me, for a friend or a loved one or yourself, cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's take a look at all this food. Let's first see Taco Bell, so here we have a big box. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah! This is the taco salad. Now, I have tried this before. I don't get it often because I don't love it, but I saw that Salsa Fiesta had a taco salad as well. Every time I say that, I almost laugh. And so I was like, okay, let me compare. Um, so there's that. By the way, side note, of course, I've tried like every item at Taco Bell, but I've never been to Salsa Fiesta Grill, okay, ever. So I'm so excited to see how they compare. Here we have, well, that is a flat burrito, y'all. This is like my white flat ass. Just kidding, it's fat. It's fat. So this is the XXL grilled stuffed burrito. It is the biggest burrito at Taco Bell. And y'all sit down places that have burritos always give you big burritos. So I was like, let me get the biggest thing they have. And then this is my wild card item. I got the Mexican pizza. Ooh, got a little squished there, but that's fine. I mean, everything's kind of squished, but the delivery person was so nice. I don't care. So this is the wild card item, the Mexican pizza. I love Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. Oh, and then here we have the chicken quesadilla, iconic. Now here we have the guacamole and chips. I mean, <laughs> that's a little pathetic, y'all. <laughs> Well, I know who you are. I know you can do better. And then here we have this. Oh, the pico de gallo and chips. I was about to say salsa, but then I remembered that I ordered the pico de gallo because their salsa is not very good in my opinion. Now here we have the dessert round from Taco Bell. I got the Cinnabon Delights. <laughs> I haven't had these in so long. I'm nervous. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. And then here is the. Oh. Mm, uh -huh. I love Taco Bell's meat. A lot of people hate it. I'm like, oh, I could live off of it as my main protein forever. This is the simple beef crunchy taco. And then here we have the chicken, I think chicken, yes, chicken soft taco. And then last but not least from Taco Bell, we have the Nacho Bell Grande. Am I crazy? Or have they shrunk in a little bit? Like back in the day, I feel like the container was like this big, not this big. Who do they think I am, Ant-Man? I mean, I wish it was Paul Rudd as a Zadi. So do we have everything here? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight. Y'all talk about slayed it and got my order 100% correct. So now I'm gonna set this aside a little bit and I'm gonna look at the Salsa Fiesta food. Like I said before, I've never eaten here ever, so I'm really excited to see what everything looks like and tastes like. Ooh. Okay, so what is this? Okay, 
wait till so, oh my god these look good so these are i think the beef taquitos i got them for the wild card round against the mexican pizza y'all my mouth just watered like they look soft but in like a good way almost like an egg roll oh my god mm, smells like oil now here we have a meal oh y'all i told you Sit down Mexican places give you huge burritos. Look at this mamacita. It's so heavy. Wow. And here we have the pico de gallo to compare it to Taco Bell's pico de gallo. I'm just saying, like, the, the difference already. But y'all, I do not judge on presentation. I judge on flavor. So we'll see what tastes better. That burrito looks amazing. Now here we have more pico de gallo. And what is this? Oh, these are my tacos. So yes, I got one beef taco and then one chicken one. You can't see them well, but don't worry. I'm gonna zoom in while I'm eating. Well, so every meal comes with chips and pico de gallo. That's, that's great. And also the tacos have guac on them for free. Can I have some guacamole? Oh, um, you know that's an extra $10.99. Okay, maybe like a crumb of guacamole for like a dollar? No. <laughs> that's like every other taco place, but this place give it to me for free. That is great. Oh. Uh, now here we have the nachos okay they look good they have a lot of sour cream guacamole a lot of ground beef like big chunks and they smell really really fresh too now what is this oh my god now that my friends is a taco salad that looks so good that looks like a damn promotional picture and it's so heavy i don't know what the hell is in this it feels like my man titties in a box so we have some sour cream, I guess, for the, maybe the salad. And then a huge thing of guacamole. That is what I'm talking about, y'all. Now, what is this? Um, this must be the dessert. I got something called, I think, a Mayan roll. It was like their only dessert there. And I have no clue what it is, but it was under dessert. So I was like, okay, that's my dessert. I can't smell sweetness or saltiness. I just smell oil. So I don't know. I think that's dessert. And what is a Mayan roll? I'm not sure. I'm going to find out soon. Last but not least, <gasps> the quesadilla. Yes. Okay, so we have our quesadilla right here. Can y'all see it? It looks good. There's a whole lot of pieces. Okay, it looks really full. I see tons of chicken inside. Both restaurants slayed it, and they were both huge orders, so I'm just so glad that they got it all right. I'm so grateful. Okay, guys, it is time to officially start tasting things. So I'm going to set the food up, get my thumbnail, get my close-up shots as well, and then we will start tasting things. Oh, my knees. <laughs> Showing my neck like time set. Ah, uh, oh, my gay ass is getting old. Okay, y'all. So I got my thumbnail and I'm ready to taste things. So first round, let's do the chicken quesadillas. Set cheeks in your face, in your mouth. Not gonna shake my piss. I'm thinking something more down south. No, this ain't about my pussy. This about my buns. You gonna feel it miles away, but bitch, don't try. So first things first, let's compare prices. The chicken quesadilla from Salsa Fiesta Grill was $11.99. Now it does come with chips, um, guacamole, and sour cream, and salsa. So it's a full damn meal, okay? And also it's a sit-down place, so it's gonna be pricier. That's just how it is. And then the chicken quesadilla from Kanku Bell <laughs> was $5.00. Exactly, which for fast food, I think is a great price for this amount of food. This is this is pretty big. It's pretty heavy, y'all. So let's first taste Salsa Fiesta. The tortilla feels nice and crispy. Um, inside, there's a whole lot of chicken. Like, they packed it. And the chicken looks really good. It looks, like, really crispy on the edges. And I see some kind of a white uh, melted cheese. I don't see any kind of, like, a sauce. So hopefully the chicken has a lot of flavor because y'all sometimes some gobble gobble chicken tastes like gobble gobble air. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> the chicken has amazing flavor. It's garlicky. It's limey. It tastes fresh off the grill. It actually tastes a lot like pollo tropical chicken, um, which I love. Y'all have been asking me recently to do like a Cuban taste test of like Cuban food and pollo tropical is like, I feel like the most famous fast food Cuban restaurant out there. So I'm gonna do that soon. But anyways, the chicken's amazing. The cheese, you can't really taste it. And I feel like it could use more cheese. Next up, let's try Taco Bell's chicken quesadilla. I have had this before, but for people that haven't, it basically has cheese. Okay, I can't take it apart, it's too cheesy. Chicken 
and then some kind of like a either jalapeno sauce or one of their sauces that they have there drizzled all over. Let's see how it tastes. So Taco Bell's chicken is, is not my favorite. It does not have the most flavor. It's just kind of like a, in my opinion, kind of processed tasting chicken. But Taco Bell's cheese is a whole other story. They have some of the best cheese ever. I mean, it tastes good on tacos when it's not melted. On quesadillas when it is melted, they have amazing cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. Is it cheddar, Monterey Jack? I'm not sure, but it's salty and it has so much flavor. And the sauce that they put on this is like my favorite thing in the world. It's like not spicy, but it has like the flavor of a jalapeno kind of and it's creamy. It really makes this quesadilla a shining star, y'all. It's the Lady Gaga of food. A star is born. Bradley Cooper cooked this. Honestly, both quesadillas are amazing, but I think the winner of the quesadilla round is... Oh, I almost vomited. Uh. Taco Bell! Yeah. Yeah. Fiesta Salsa had the better chicken, but Taco Bell has way more cheese and it has the sauce and it just it really makes it pop. So Taco Bell has one point. Salsa Fiesta has zero. Next up, while it's here, let's do the chips and salsa, or chips and pico de gallo. There's a big fat crack, but it ain't in the earth. My anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. Spark it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass. Okay, also we have the pico de gallo from Taco Bell and the a pico de gallo from Salsa Fiesta. Now their name is Salsa, so I better be snatched. So Taco Bell's pico de gallo looks real dry. Is there juices in there? I just see um, onions, tomato, um, anything else? I don't see much else. So let's try it with a Taco Bell chip. I've actually never had the Taco Bell pico de gallo. I only got it today because I don't like Taco Bell salsa, like I said. So the fact that this is, in my opinion, worse than the salsa, <laughs> I'm regretting not getting that salsa, y'all. She deserved better. In my opinion, I think this is only tomatoes and onions chopped up. Like, no seasonings, no lime juice, no cilantro, no jalapenos, nothing. If you like the taste of raw onions, this is your dream meal, y'all, but most of us only like raw onions on like a burger. This is not the Grinch. We do not eat onions like this. Mm. So that shook me. I have never had something that bad from Taco Bell. I have a chip from Salsa Fiesta. Gonna try their pico de gallo now. If this is not better than the Taco Bell one, y'all, I'm stopping the food battle right here. <laughs> I will continue, because I love y'all and I love food and I love to eat, but I would be shook. Yes, bitch. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, that is not only great pico de gallo. That's some of the best pico de gallo I've ever had. It's so good. It's so refreshing. Um, the tomatoes and onions, all that stuff taste so fresh. There's so much liminess in it. The cilantro is great. I'm not the biggest cilantro fan. And this has the perfect amount. Not too much, not too overpowering. It's like a breath of fresh air. It is delicious. So y'all, this is a close race. <laughs> but I think the winner of the salsa battle is the salsa. So Taco Bell has one point and Salsa Fiesta has one point. Okay, y'all, my creaky chair is gonna pick the next round. Let's see what they want. Oh, bitch, they're wild today. <laughs> they want dessert, okay. Cheek, earthquake, get it, shit it, butthole, sniff it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Ass, cheek, earthquake, ass, cheek, earthquake. So from Fiesta Salsa, we have the Mayan roll. I have no clue what it is. There was no description about it, nothing. But it was the only dessert on the menu. So I got it. Let's hope it's good. It has a little side of whipped cream. And it was $5.29. And now from Taco Bell, we have the Cinnabon Delights. Um, I got the four pack, which was $1.89. Super cheap. So let's first try the Cinnabon Delights. I have had them before. If you don't know what they are, they basically um, taste like a cinnamony donut with like melted icing inside. Let's taste it. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. Cinnabon Delights are truly one of the best desserts 
of all time. It is one of the only things that actually melts in your mouth. Like, people always say, oh, it melts in my mouth. How did that fried chicken melt in your mouth, Susan? Is your mouth a damn fondue pot? And I've said that about different foods before, too, even if it hasn't actually melted. It's like more of like saying, just like, oh, it's so good, you know? But this actually melts. It's iconic, so now, Let's try the Mayan roll. I'm gonna break it open first to see exactly what it is. Oh, <gasps> chocolate? Elsa and Anna would be shocked. <laughs> okay, so it's like filled with like a thick chocolate. Let's open up my whipped cream and see how this tastes. Oh, Vani. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I am a changed man. I did not think anything could stand up to the Cinnabon Delights until I tasted a Mayan roll. So basically, it's like a taquito on the outside and inside, it isn't just chocolate, it's more like a chocolate ganache. So it has a very thick, yet not hard texture. It's like a, it's like a fudgy texture. And with the whipped cream, oh my God. One of the best desserts I've ever had in my entire life. This is a very hard round, but I think that the winner of the dessert round is Salsa Fiesta. So Salsa Fiesta has two points, Taco Bell has one point. What does the creaking chair want now? Oh, I think they're calling for the tacos. It's taco time, y'all. So I'm gonna first try the chicken tacos. So the chicken taco at Taco Bell was two dollars and forty nine cents, and the chicken taco at Salsa Fiesta doesn't really have a price. I got both tacos with the chips and all that stuff for ten ninety nine. So whatever. Let's first try Taco Bell's chicken tacos. So it has shredded chicken in it. I love Taco Bell's shredded chicken. It's a lot better than their other chicken because that one doesn't really have much flavor. The shredded chicken has a lot of like sauciness and just it's cooked with a lot of spices it seems there's cheese and lettuce on this so let's try it y'all mm. oh my god so good the chicken is amazing it has so much flavor almost like a tomatoey chili flavor simple amazing iconic now let's try salsa fiesta's chicken taco it's kind of like stuck oh it's a little so oh it's real soggy okay wow <gasps> Okay, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> Y'all know I don't mind some soggy food, but when it falls apart in my hands, it makes me feel like I disappointed it. I don't know, <laughs> like, <laughs> let's taste this chicken taco, y'all. Mmm, mm wow. Mmm, salsa fiesta's chicken just tastes so real, so limey, so grilled, and I really love it. Um, all the toppings tasted real fresh, and it did fall apart and become a mess, but that didn't take away any of the flavor. It's so delicious, so refreshing, not heavy. I love that taco. They're both so good, but which one would I rather eat right now? Ooh, I think the winner of the chicken taco round is... So Salsa Fiesta has three points, Taco Bell has one point. Now let's try the beef tacos. But bitch, your asshole don't matter, just make them butt cheeks look better. Stick your ass out till it breaks, shake it all night. Gotta make them cheeks look like they just got in a fight. Spark it, pop it, ain't it, drop it. Y'all know I love me some Taco Bell meat. The truth is, every time that I um, go to Taco Bell, I usually get like at least three plain beef tacos. They're just so good. It's just one of my favorite things. So let's taste it, y'all. Oh wait, it has beef, <laughs> lettuce, and cheese. Let's taste it, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm worried for Salsa Fiesta because girl, there's no beating a Taco Bell ground beef taco. Something about the meat with the simple toppings really just tastes iconic. Maybe it's because I grew up eating it, I don't know, but it's this flavor that no one else can recreate. Taco Bell has their own flavor. The beef taco from Salsa Fiesta, now this one seems a little less soggy maybe? Nope, 
No, just a soggy, y'all. Okay, let me try to get a bite that has everything in it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The beef has a lot of flavor. It's good ground beef. It's not greasy. It just tasted a little um, basic to me. So I think that the obvious winner of the beef taco battle is Taco Bell. So Taco Bell has two points. Salsa Fiesta has three points. Next up, I think, I think we're gonna do the salads. Ass cheek earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass cheek earthquake. Hit it, shit it, butthole, sniff it, ass cheek earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek Okay, y'all, so the taco salad from Fiesta Salsa was $11.99. It's really heavy and really big. I think it's worth it. And then the Fiesta taco salad <laughs> from Taco Bell was $7.15, which is actually pretty pricey for Taco Bell, y'all, what? Now, neither of them came with dressing. Taco Bell's did come with some kind of a salsa, I think. Mm-hmm, so I don't like that much salsa, but a little bit. <laughs> now, in my opinion, I don't think that taco salads need dressing because they have the meat and the pico de gallo, and the guacamole, and the refried beans to kind of coat everything, you know? So on Taco Bell's, I see ground beef, lettuce, sour cream, cheese, little red tortilla strips. Are there beans? I think there's probably beans somewhere. Let's just kind of mix it up. Oh, and there's rice underneath, y'all. Oh, rice and beans, okay. So it's mostly rice and beans. Doesn't that just make it like a bowl? Let's taste it, y'all. A nice mixed up bite. This is the thing. It doesn't really taste like a salad. It tastes like a crumbled up taco. I do think it is better with less salsa because I liked it more this time than I have in the past when I put all the salsa on it. I just really think it should be more salad-y and less ricey. And maybe some dressing would do it some good, like some Chipotle ranch or something like that would be really good on this. It just needs some help, you know? So now let's try the Salsa Fiesta salad. Now, the guacamole looks brown, but it's just the top of it underneath. It's bright green, so we're good. Wow, okay, so, oh wow. This one has rice and black beans in it too. But like, it looks really good. So yes, I see lettuce, pico de gallo, guacamole, ground beef, white rice, black beans, all in a shell. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The white rice and black beans are delicious. I'm snatched by them. It doesn't taste like a salad either. It tastes more like a bowl, but I'm fine with it because it was really good. The ground beef is good. The guacamole is really flavorful. I just, I really like how everything tastes really, really fresh. I like it a lot. So I think the winner of the taco salad battle is Salsa Fiesta. He's a deal. So Salsa Fiesta has four points and Taco Bell has two points. Next round, let's do chips and guacamole. Okay, so Taco Bell gave me a drop of guacamole. <laughs> Do y'all see the empty space? No offense to Taco Bell, but girl, this is like two chips worth of guacamole. They have like some of the smoothest guacamole, which in my opinion is not a good thing. It's like kind of stretchy and sticky. I like guacamole with chunks because then you know it was just crushed up and stuff, you know? Let's taste it. To be honest, I've never loved Taco Bell's guacamole. It doesn't have the most flavor. It just has kind of like a slight lime flavor, but that's it. And I just don't feel like it's good enough. It's not up to Taco Bell standards, in my opinion, compared to other items. So now let's try Salsa Fiesta's guacamole. I'm gonna try to get the green parts because the top is all brown. Okay, here we go. Mmm, y'all see the chunks? So good, so chunky, so fresh. It doesn't have the strongest flavor, but I think that it has enough flavor to get by. Um, it has pieces of tomato in it, onions I think. It's delicious. It's like that perfect guacamole that, that you crave when you think of guacamole, you know? So I think the obvious winner of the guacamole round is... Salsa Fiesta Wow! Yeah! So Salsa Fiesta has five points and Taco Bell has two. Oh my god. Next up, let's do the burritos. Ooh, I 
What is this feeling? It's a rumbling in my ass cheeks. No, 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 no. I, I. What is this feeling? It's a rumbling in my ass cheeks. Okay, so the XXL Growth Stuff Burrito from Taco Bell is $5.95. I got it with seasoned beef because that's like the main meat there. It's my favorite. Honestly, like less than $6 for a burrito this size, I think is a pretty good price, y'all. Now the Salsa Fiesta Classic Burrito with ground beef again is $11.99. Now it comes with chips and pico de gallo, so I think that's a good price too. Now y'all, I really don't like to dissect my burritos usually, but I wanna tell y'all what's inside, so I'm gonna break them open a little bit. Taco Bell's has a huge tortilla, it's crazy. Okay, so I see rice, ground beef, sour cream, refried beans, tomatoes, and I think there's probably guacamole on this side. So let me wrap that back up. Now in Salsa Fiesta's burrito, um, oh, okay, <laughs> we're just making a window here. Um, I see salsa, corn? Y'all know I do not like corn unless if it's by itself. I do not like it in things, I do not like it in soups, I do not like it in my caca. So I'm shook that there's corn in this. Okay, now I'm gonna taste each burrito from the middle. I know it's super irritating to see someone do this to a burrito. <laughs> but y'all, this is where everything is. Sometimes there's more stuff on this end, more stuff on this end, you know what I mean? So this is where everything comes together. So here we go. Mm. I haven't had this burrito in so long. Mmm. So good. It tastes like a really big Taco Bell burrito. There's no like crazy flavors or anything like that. It's good. Um, I do feel like all the textures inside are kind of the same. So it kind of is just kind of like a big, really um fluidy burrito. I need more like density, like put some chips in there or something. Put some like whole beans, not like refried beans. Just something else to change the texture, you know, because it's all one texture. So that's my one complaint with this big zani. Look at this, y'all. Now let's try Salsa Fiesta's burrito. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really shocked that I don't like it at all. Like, at all. And it's not because of the corn. The corn's like whatever. The flavor of something in this, I don't know if it's a sauce or the meat or what, there's a sweetness that does not go with it in my opinion. It almost tastes like there's some kind of like, um, tequila flavoring or something like that. Like some kind of a flavoring that tastes like liquor or something, you know? It's very strong. It takes over the whole thing. It's just a weird flavor. I do not know this. I don't know you. That was a crispy tortilla, it hurt me. I think that the obvious winner of the burrito battle is... Taco This might be a little basic, but at least it didn't serve me weird ass, bitch ass, sweet ass flavor, okay? Not a fan. So Taco Bell now has three points, and Salsa Fiesta has five points. There's two rounds left, y'all. It's the nacho round and the wild card round, so let's go. Work it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Hit it, shit it, butthole, sniff it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it. Okay, so the Nacho Fiesta from Salsa Fiesta Grill is $11.99. And then the Nacho Bell Grande from Taco Bell is $4.49. So I think for a sit-down place and for Taco Bell, they're both priced accordingly, honestly. So let's first try Taco Bell. I've had Taco Bell's nachos so many times. I love them so much. They have tons of nacho cheese, which I love Taco Bell's nacho cheese. Tomato, ground beef, refried beans, and that's about it. So let's taste the piece that has everything on it. Yes, they are soggy at this point. The video's almost over, <laughs> but I love soggy nachos. Y'all know this about me. Look at me, I'm just digging right in like a whore. Oh my God, okay, it cracked. Mmm, 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 so simple. If you've never had Taco Bell nachos, go and get them right now. What I will say is that Taco Bell's chips are not my favorite. They do have kind of like an oily flavor to them, but whatever. The toppings are incredible. So now let's try the Nacho Fiesta from Salsa Fiesta Grill. So let me try to find a nacho that has a lot on it because everything's soggy, so I can't really scoop anything. <laughs> I just gotta go with what has it already, you know? Okay, we're just gonna grab a glob. That's how we're gonna do it. We have guacamole, ground beef, black beans, sour cream, um, melted cheese. I don't see like nacho cheese, but whatever. Uh, pico de gallo, I don't know what else. I think that's it. Let's taste it. Mmm, hmm. 
Mmm. I think it's lacking some kind of a queso sauce or like nacho cheese. The toppings don't have the most flavor. Like the black beans taste like water, in my opinion. They're okay, not great. So I think the winner of the nachos battle is... Taco Bell has four points, Salsa Fiesta has five points, and we have one round left. The wild card round. Ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek earthquake. Twerk in my face. Ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek earthquake. So from Salsa Fiesta, we have the beef taquitos. They're $5.29, not that bad. I mean, you know, it's like an appetizer amount for a small appetizer. And then Taco Bell's Mexican pizza was $4.65, so almost the same price. I've had the Mexican pizza so many times, it's so good. Let's just dig right in. In case if you don't know what it is, it's basically two like um, tostadas, and in between them there's ground beef and refried beans, and then on top we have the Taco Bell sauce, so good with uh, melted cheese and tomatoes. And it looks like this. Mmm. Oh my God. Mexican pizzas are iconic. They don't taste like pizza, but they're in the shape of a pizza and they're cut like a pizza. They put so much Taco Bell sauce on top of it. It gives it such a unique, delicious flavor. We stand. So now let's try the beef taquitos from Salsa Fiesta. Oh, okay, ground beef. I expect it more like a shredded beef because usually taquitos have shredded beef in them, right? At least the frozen ones I get do. It smells good. Mmm. I don't know. That was disappointing. Like, the meat inside, in my opinion, didn't have a lot of flavor. It just tasted like beefy with like some peppers in it. I don't know. I did not like that that much. So I think that the winner of the wild card round is Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yes. Oh my God. So that was the final round. Salsa Fiesta has five points and Taco Bell has five points. Y'all, I should have gotten an uneven number of rounds <laughs> because we're tied and I don't know what to do. You know what? I'll leave it up to y'all. Leave a comment down below and tell me who you think truly won this food battle. Taco Bell or this nice sit down Mexican restaurant? To me, I guess they were completely equal. So it's up to y'all. Let me know in the comments below. By the way, disclaimer, this is not sponsored by either restaurant or anything else not sponsored at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch my last video. I tasted weird snacks in ASMR. And a lot of y'all are not into ASMR, um, but I was really grateful that everyone was so nice in the comments. Like you were all like, I don't like um, ASMR, but I love you, Timmy. I just can't watch this video, I'm sorry. Like you were still really nice about it. Like you weren't hateful or anything like that, even though it wasn't your thing. So I'm just very grateful. I'm very proud of y'all for being so nice. Such kind people. So yeah, go watch that video if you're into ASMR. <laughs> Subscribe to become a juicy tomato. I'll see y'all next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.